Welcome to show your parents the PTA and the asleep don't want you to hear. The Hedius blog. Today, Bradley Martin confronts Sneaker and Sarah. Then he gets humbled by another fighter. Yup, this should be good. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. That guttural laugh that you have is like, is getting rid of that, so it's getting rid of the And when you can get past that, you get to truth and you need truth to survive. Bro, I want to get you and Ethan on the same podcast so bad. Do it this week. So bad. Do I it. don't think he, he was hard to get him out to just come to do mine. What about Hassan? Both you guys on the same pod. I think like you, Hassan, Mike, and Ethan, dude. Would you think we could even have a conversation? No, I think it'd be overpowering. Chad, what do you think? What do you think? Overpowerment. Uh, would you sit down and do that? I would. I think so, yeah. But I'm trying to remember all the things that they've, they've said, and it's even worth like, do they deserve my time? Like, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm like, dude, do they savage. Deserve my clout? Do they deserve my presence? Should I even like, even the fact that you're saying their name in my room, like, do, do they deserve to be, do they deserve my energy after everything they've done? You know, I have, a, that, but that's why it would be interesting. That's why I think it would be interesting. Yeah. They're extremely like rude about, about Sneeko and like, anyway, I mean, not to endorse Sneeko, right? Like everybody thinks that I support Sneeko no matter what he does. Well, Sneeko blows in the wind like a leaf. He just does what he does for views and clicks, right? And he doesn't really have any opinions of his own. So, but for these guys to be against him no matter what he does is also ridiculous. Because you, because you've grown, you've learned a lot. Like I think, you know, even as you continue to grow, I think you've also even, ironically saying this, but you've gotten more humble. I'd say based on the content that I've watched of you and how you've kind of shifted, like from this, you know, you, you did that video where you're like, okay, this red pill community, this is now I'm going to start focusing on this kind of stuff. And you kind of like, I wouldn't say moved away from it, but you started to, I'd say, open up with more, I don't know, more outside thoughts and more, more accepting of like what else other people are saying. I think you've done a lot of that. That's what I think the conversation. It's not what he did. He just went Muslim. Conversation would be good. And also you coming from a different perspective now and talking about like your past with them. I just think it'd be interesting. Yeah, it's it'd be interesting, but like you think about it from my perspective, these people tried to ruin my life. Yeah, but literally. that's why it'd be interesting. You know, these people genuinely like because the fact that you sit here in 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 resistance, not not that you wouldn't do it. I know that you would do it if you're given the opportunity. And if, you, if I was like, yo, let's do it, you do it. I don't think you're afraid, but because you have some resistance to it, is the reason why I think it would be interesting because you still feel you still feel that type of like, yo, because you've come up. Even having the idea of like, do they deserve this? That's why I think it'd be an interesting conversation. Because you're in a just different place to and you've grown, him. you continue to grow. I just think it'd be cool to see like wants. how that conversation would go down. If like it could happen without people just trying to argue with each I other. I feel like that won't end well. You don't think so? I think it'd end up Do with... you know who Ethan is? Oh my God, I used to watch him and Trisha Paytas all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to watch his OG stuff. Like there's even a video of me when I was 25 years ago wearing his merch. Because I, I grew up watching these people. Yeah. A lot of the people that celebrated, that's like why. Yeah, pause. But that's why I it's so interesting. Even KSI, there's a picture of me back like when I was 14. I went to like a, a meet and greet. I took a picture with him. Dude, I did not know that he worked for Mr. Beast. Yeah. I knew that. I haven't even talked to him about it. Oh. But that's why I, I find it. I find the conversation would be so cool. I think it'd be dope as fuck. I know you don't you Let him sleep want. on it. Let him get yeah, back yeah. to you No, he, I, he would do it. He's not. You know, no, but at the same time, I understand if you feel disrespected, you don't even want to be in the same room as someone. Nah, but how you really, really prove that you rose and above it is by being able to do that straight up, even if it wasn't on camera. Bradley's just manipulating, right? He just, he, he doesn't care at all about sneaker. He only cares about money. It's, it's obvious. Again, someone like me can, can see that, that crap, right? He's just trying to get sneaker in his, uh, in his ego so that he agrees to something he doesn't really want to do. I would just like to be in the room in that conversation. Cause I know you feel a type of way about it. I forgive him. <laughs> I love that. I only have love in my heart. Damn. Wow. Look at this guy. He's different now. I, just, I, I love everybody, man. I spread love Let's speech. Let's go. Love Israel, love Palestine, love everybody. I love it, man.
That's I hope that gets clipped up because I know it's not going to. Yeah, they, it's, like, <laughs> it's like it's never, it never that does. stuff. It never does. See what well, they try to say like I'm programming the youth to be stuff, but they don't say that every single stream. I say like I love you guys. Follow God. Be safe. Like all this good stuff. Go to the gym. Spread love. Love speech. My community is called Love Speech. They never talk about that. They're only get. I mean, why would they? They're only gonna clip up the things the negative to try to. Sorry. No. To that's, try to ruin. That's everything. how the fuck internet works. It's so stupid, man. The, the negative. <laughs> that's rises. what I'm just saying. You fixate on the negative. People fixate on the negative. I fucking look at the negative. That's what I don't. Saying. I don't give a more, man. You really don't. I only speak on what I can speak on, man. That's from, not from true. My own perspective. I feel like that's like all my content and the success that I've had with this because it's just me talking about things that I've actually been through. It's not true. That's why it's so hard when I talk about these other things you want to talk and discuss. I'm like, I can't. I can understand. There's no good in killing. There's no good in murdering. There's no good in like destruction in that manner. Wait, let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go. What train. you want to go eat? We're trying to end already. We did, Sarah. We just hugged it out. What the. Okay, sorry. Why are you Where trying to end? Them? I have to pee again. Why are you mean to post some coffee? Okay, can I? Yeah, go for it. You're good. It's your Nico podcast. Love Satan. Um, what the? That's what chat's saying. Random chat. Not true. Uh, well, I do love everybody. You love Satan. <laughs> everybody. I, don't I love Satan. I don't think you love Satan, dude. I don't think that's. Not a big fan of him. Good job. You're learning. Hey. For Snapchat, yeah. Thank you. Where are you going? Okay. I'll miss you. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. Hey, you love to see you walk away. See, that's what you can't do. That's what she don't like. Yeah, what? I, so. <laughs> I told you I will find you another woman. So I literally told you. I love when you're so mad. You're so cute when you're Bradley, mad. Fix him. I can't fix him, dude. He gets it. It's yeah. funny. You can't fix him. You can't fix him. Oh, Sarah. I'll be you just got to know what it is. You Come know what soon. it is. Yeah, but what else do I do? You, you have to, you either decide to go like head first or like, you know. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead first. God damn it, dude! What? I agree with you. So I just have to remove myself from the situation. Or head first. Head yeah. first. Head, I'm trying to draw a line, but head. Like, he's like fucked the line that I like. Yeah, see, he line. keeps doing it. Yeah, mm. he keeps doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so sometimes you got to remove. No, yourself. that wasn't even. That didn't cross. That was crossing lines, though. Head. No, you're I'm saying like keep it very like. If we have a good dynamic, why does it need to be so like? I have to go pee. Yeah, because you said head first. Dude. Okay. You did that. Brad, right. fix him. All right, I'm gonna sniff your chair while you're gone. Can I? That's so weird. What do you think it smells like? Disaster. Like, I don't know. Her, can I smell it? You're gonna smell her chair. Are you actually gonna do that? If you weren't here, I probably would. <laughs> to be Dude, honest, what, you, you have sniffed that. Do you guys ever? He's a weirdo. No, obviously not. What what is Sneaker even talking about? This is, okay. There's no way he's saying this Prop, except for no. clicks. No, no, dude. No. It's like this is what okay, like be Neon honest, does. Be honest. Do you do you really like Sarah? Yeah, I do. Thing? I do. Okay. I do like her. Oh, yeah. Why do you, what do you mean? Like in a middle school, like way, like, no, like, like, like her. No, I do. Like, I genuinely, oh my God. Every time I make a little joke, like, yeah, yes. I like and respect her a lot. Yes. Okay. I do. I don't want to protect her. I just want to make sure she's good. Dude, she's sensitive. You just got to know that. I know. Right? She's a girl. Yeah. She's a girl. Of course. Man. Did you, so you don't have a girl. She's gone. So, well, you know. <laughs> Yo, you're such fuck, dude. You're funny, man. No, she's not. Fuck, he's funny. It's, it's, you know how it goes, Brad. Come God on, man. Damn, you gotta have a. You gotta have a options. Well, okay, I guess the question is, would you, would you, would you give up the other ones? No. What? Um, depends on. Uh, it's such a hard question. Yeah, it depends on. You a know. Lot. You know. We'll see. You never know. I, you, you always got to have a... Uh, oh, it's happening. You got to have some some options. You want to connect to the Wi-Fi? You good? No, that's good. Okay. What happened? Uh, we just risked it. Oh, okay. so, so, so when do you know then, let's say, Sarah's side, right? You have options. When do you know which one you commit <coughs> to? Or are you just, do, you, do you think you're not going to commit to one? I... I think... <sighs> I'm actually really curious about this. This is why I'm so anti... Because I started watching... When I was like nine years old and I think it's desensitized me. And then I actually even think that the red pill will talk about how girls are ran through and they can't pair bond after they, they have too many bodies. I think that men could definitely become ran through too. Like mentally. Like, yeah. 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 That's right. It, it, they can. It's just the release of dopamine is, uh, is lower. Uh, sorry. Oxytocin, uh, oxytocin. So what that means is that it takes about 10 times the amount of like if a girl becomes run through after like 10, 
a guy becomes run through after like a hundred. It's it's like it takes longer for men to become run through than than women, but it does happen. It it does actually happen. Just uh, it doesn't happen the same way for girls as for guys. But we we already know this. It's not something. I'm not saying anything that we've never heard before. Okay, let's continue. For sure. Like when you, when you sleep with a certain amount of girls, you've been in like with so many girls, like you can't really pair bond or like fall in love the same way. That's right. I think men have one opportunity to fall in love the way that movies portray, but it never works. Like something always happens. Yeah. And then yeah. afterwards you kind of become cynical and realistic. You start applying like business etiquette to your relationship. What is going to work for me? How do I have leverage? How do I make sure that this is sustainable? You start bringing in managers and employees. You turn the relationship like a business and it's not even about love anymore. So I think the reason I, I act, I'm so against, not just because, you know, it's lowers your testosterone and all this stuff, but I was watching when I was like nine, 10 years old and just like, bro, I was going, I was going ham. Sneeko, I completely agree with you. Do you think you've been in love? Of course. Of course, many times. Once or more than once? Many times. Many times. Many times. I'm in love with you. No, like real talk. I'm, I'm in love with you. No, real talk. <laughs> have you ever been in love? I have been in love, but it has, doesn't compare to what I have with you. But okay, I'm saying, you make everything <laughs> into a joke. But I'm saying, like, the question Brad is asking is, can I commit to one girl? Yeah. And I don't think oh. I can. Well, I, I want, sometimes I want to, but it's like my... I'm, would you be okay being number three? No. <laughs> four? No, I would want... It was four worse than three? Yeah, I, I right? would want to only be with one person, I want, and I would want that one person to only be with one. I want that for us too, Sarah, but... No, yeah. I'm not talking about you, Sneeko. I'm saying my future husband, I do not want him to have any other women involved I know. with him. We'll work on that. We'll work no, on that. not you. This is what I'm getting it's, at. It's, it's going to be difficult to commit to one because I have... <sighs> You know. That's what she doesn't like, by the way. I'm just letting you know. I know, I know. Yeah. But it's they they don't like it, but they also do like it because no, it Brad, Brad, all this stuff. Brad knows I don't like that. Yeah, no girl really likes that. You know, I'm working on it. But so genuinely, do you think all girls say they're special and different? Like, but we all know how that goes. All the niceties. Do you think you could ever just be with one? I I think for Sarah, I could. Can you leave me out of this equation? <laughs> like, it has to be I, I a mutual thing. Before I met her, I, I thought I was going to need four for a while, but I, I think Sarah's... Um, right, that's why you filmed with me and then right after filmed with other people, right? Yes. No, it's content. Right, okay. It's content. Okay. Imagine I'm on Fresh and Fit, like, but you filmed with me? Like, like yeah, there's 10 girls here, you know? like. No, no, that's not what I mean. Fresh and Fit is a totally different atmosphere atmosphere i'm saying when you film with women you always portray it as you trying to get with them it seems like something intimate with yeah because that's what guys are like i don't understand you i'm not saying you on a podcast with 10 women no sarah i'm saying that's your narrative in every stream true or false oh sarah you say oh sarah when you know it's true <laughs> i want to propose right now oh, <laughs> sneaker oh yeah one day, one, one day, Brad, one day. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. It's difficult. It's difficult. Why is it difficult? Because you care about the content so much? No, it's not about the content. It's, um, I like variety. Okay. That makes you know? sense. Like, okay. you ever had Chinese food? Fuck, yeah. I love Chinese food. You ever had sushi? I love sushi. You ever had Nigerian food? Like, uh, jollof rice? Man, it's so good. Fried chicken so from the oh. south? I like, you know, I go to a buffet. I try a little bit of everything. I, I'm the type of guy to put every single country on the plate Bro, because I'm I just want to so want to see how it is yeah I'm starving right now the way you okay. talked about that made me so I hungry I know but even that like I can't have you know Japanese food every single day yeah like imagine if you ordered the same Postmates every day every what day the what? <laughs> every day that's what a marriage is that's not what, really that's what monogamy is like no, opening up they the can app cook different things for you all the time but it's the same cook you know her style is always the same even though she's trying to change it up it's still her style every day so like, <laughs> okay it's like just listening to one artist for the rest of your life I could listen to Juice World. Yeah, su surprisingly, yeah, it, it's it's true. But what is the trade-off? The trade-off is it's the same in the other direction, right? Which does favor women more than 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 men. But 
ultimately, if we're making a biological argument, that's that's the trade-off, right? Like, and you can make that choice or not, right? It's up to us to teach you how to be able to have the options, and then you can make the choice of what you want to do with that ability. Rob for the rest of my life. I know that that's you need that special. Like, I can listen to Kanye for TA for the rest of my life. So and you're only, like the, and only yay. I could, I could. If I if I had to, like there's sometimes there's one artist where you're like, I could be monogamous to you. Same with Sarah. Like I could <laughs> me and you, like it's gonna work. You're that special. You're the yay of women to me. Okay, let's go eat. That was that was funny. <laughs> you don't like that shit, dude. What? I I just, I just think that's the thing that Yeah. Is no, it's obviously done for content. Obviously. I don't think he'll ever process that. It's all good. It's not it's, all good. It's Wait, so you, like wait, said, you, you, gotta, you just want to be friends? Yes. Special friends? No. No. <laughs> we, can be, we can have some benefits. No, I don't do the benefits thing. <laughs> it can be beneficial for both of us. Okay, sure, but nothing like... Okay, friends with benefits. Perfect. No, what Got the... Locked. No. You, it? you gotta be careful. Trichter. No, I do not uh-huh. want to be anything more than the same way I am with... Yeah, she wants to only sleep with Jack Jim dudes. We already know that. That's not... Subtle. Brad or Jacob or anyone else in this room. Friends. God, dude. Stop the cap. You reach. It's funny. We're going to be good friends. Stop the cap. Nice, Nico. You're way bigger than me, right? Like, yeah. Did you say you weigh 260? 260. Time for the humble yeah, portion. People think of that, like, videos. muscles, like, mean something. <laughs> muscles don't mean nothing, like. Yeah, when you're a professional fighter, you know how to use all your weight properly. You can turn that 150 pounds into 450 if you twist it properly. Right, and you have lots of like you have insane cardio. Right? Yeah, if, if I could jump on you, then then maybe <clears throat> if I could hold you on the floor, sure. Yes, but in boxing, no, I know that's. But not even, but even, but even, even in a street fight, I'd like, beat the they, f- out of you in a street. No, fight. I, no you I, wouldn't. I would, you, yeah, I would. Kill you. I, would, I, would, I, would, I love it. <laughs> no, like for you real, think real. at your weight. What's your weight? Damn it! I want his f-ing weight. No, so so one fifty around one fifty. I would maul you at one fifty. No, you no. wouldn't. A hundred percent. No. As confident as you are. Okay, about so let me tell you something. 150. Let me tell you about 150 pounds. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay. You cannot take a punch though. That's right. So like you're not used to getting hit. So I've been hit though. No, 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 no. But you've been not hit. by you. But not you've been you. hit by regular guys, like guys who don't even know how to punch. Yeah. I know everybody thinks like, oh, well, he's gonna if you grab me. Yeah. But you have to get to the point where you have to grab me. So but it's you're a gonna take fight. So, but you have to get to me though. Yeah. Yeah. So in the process of you getting to me, you think you piece me up that fast? Yup. I'm gonna hit you so many God, times. I do this, I'm gonna hit bro. you so many I times. I wanna do this so bad. I'm gonna hit you so many times. And so hard, way harder than you're used to getting hit. Oh, f- I'm gonna really test that chin, kiddo. Bro, I'm gonna hit you so many times. By the time that you do get to me, I'm asleep. No. You may not. Even if you're not asleep, you might just be. I'm just gonna. You're not gonna want to fight anymore. I wish yeah, I yeah, could yeah. Figure out a way to make. Yeah, it. you'll be like in shock because you're not used to taking hits like that. This happened. <laughs> I just <laughs> no, one fifty. There's no way. No, you don't, bro. No, there's no don't. way at one fifty. No, you don't. I I'm athletic you. as. F- no, I'll I jump on it. you. No. Nah, I think he'd fuck you up, Brad. No, no, like at like, one fifty, bro. bro, bro at I didn't beat up. I didn't beat at up. At one fifty, you think I couldn't get your legs? I look at those no. legs. They're tiny. No, no, you no. I know. Yep, tiny. Yep, they are tiny. They are tiny. So this is where the delusion of Bradley Martin begun when he interviewed Devin Haney on his podcast. Devin Haney's an... Okay, I don't really care about this commentator, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love The it. irony being I'm that commentator. Yeah, not you personal, though, but anybody, any size is like easy. No, I was talking about me. Yeah. Because I asked Devin Haney. Devin Haney thought the boxer, he thought he beat me in a street fight 150. Yeah, 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 but yeah, he probably... You, up too, though, you but, think so? Uh, but, nah, you really but, think so. But, 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 no, no, I'm no, too sick. I said probably f- you up. You think a 150 pound? Nah, I think, I think, I think, uh, realistically, you're talking about Devin Haney, the boxer. The bo- this guy that's talking here, you can tell by the way he's talking, he has permanent brain damage from getting hit in the head so many times. He sounds like a septuagenarian, he sounds like a 70 year old. That's why you shouldn't really do boxing because you, you won't stay smart. <laughs> Boxer, yeah. 150. No, I think he'd find. I think he'd find you. But if you grabbed a hold of him, and you're talking about me too, so it's different. Like, look, you're it, different to me than that. I know. Yeah, for sure. Like, 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 if you fought Devin Haney, you got to get him good. You got to grab that little. Fucker. Oh, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's it, right? Now I said if Bradley Martin wanted any chance at all, we can. Okay, okay, okay. 
he's probably most likely dead. Yeah, yeah. But you. You different. grab a hold of me, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Straight up. I love it. I think I might be able to get you. Yeah. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, these, these guys know how tough they are because you, you, have, you have to know. You have to know how tough you are at that level, right? It's it's not a it's not a joke. When these guys say like they could hurt you, like you can you can see how uncomfortable they are, like being called out because they don't really want to prove it because they know they'd kill them. You know, you know, like it's like you know when you're extremely confident in yourself and you don't have anything to prove, like. <laughs> That's what it is. I fucking love give it. Give it a try, though. Oh my god! What one of these that's days? The difference. What's that? <laughs> I said that's the difference. What's the difference? That fucking jujitsu versus boxing. What are you gonna do? You're gonna grab that phone, smash him. You grab hold of me. Big yeah, 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 yeah. Different. One of these days, we should fuck around, though. Tomorrow, tonight, bro. I, I would love that. Let's go after this. Oh, bro, I don't want to hurt you before the fight. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. I gotta give you a little. Shit with Challenging Nate Diaz and the Haney. Right? <laughs> yeah, what do you think about it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the, f the fighters know who's real and who's not. Full transparent, those guys would f*** up. The real question is, uh, who wins the street fight, me or you? <laughs> that real fighters win, not guys that have trained to have beautiful muscles. That's the real question. Is it, though? That I, is. I trained all my life. I dude. know, but like... You're Fucking older guys. now, dude. How old are you? <laughs> Thirty-four. I mean, I'm forty. You know, fuck. but it's. I feel like, like your knees hurt. Uh, no, I I, I don't have any <laughs> injuries, but I would like to think I could beat you up. The problem is, it's like, I mean, you're a big dude, so it's like some could happen for street sure. Street fight. Street, but uh, you keep saying street fight. But what do you think you're gonna like hit you with curb a curb stomp me or some like this like <laughs> WWE? <laughs> you know. <laughs> But I would like to think, like, you know, I have my 10,000 hours sparring big, yeah. world-class guys. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. No chance. I'm telling you. Look, look at how big this guy is. This guy with the, the – this, this guy sitting on the couch. No, 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 no. A guy that size that knows how to fight. You'd be crazy fighting a guy like that. You'd have to be actually insane. Certifiably insane. To fight a guy that's like, if you, if you know anything about fighting, you would never give these guys the legal right to beat you up. No, 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 no. That's crazy. You mean you I fought big dudes? Yeah, yeah, heavyweight. Like, yeah, top 10 in the world. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, it's a little different. Now, even though Big Brendan over here is probably one of the. Okay, sorry. Someone 125, though, that 125 guy? Mighty Mouse would. Like... You're talking about, like, the best of all time. Okay. You, you wouldn't be able to touch him. Now, I'm sure most of you know who this guy is. He's called Demi. Mighty Mouse. Okay. Well, I've always said Mighty Mouse is one of my best bets because he was so goddamn good, and he's still so goddamn good. now. But now he's fighting in one FC, but he was a flyweight champion for a long time. and Look at how his, good he is. He was the highest level of expression <laughs> of mixed martial arts ability that I've Look ever at seen. Him. Now, even though Bradley Martin is 130 pounds doesn't matter. That guy's a god. The elite guys. Dude, I want to find that mother. I want to find this guy you're talking about. DJ? I want to find him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll text him. I'm not going to fight him, fight him in the street fight. I want to just lay on top of him in jujitsu. So, like, I, I did this. DJ, what's, I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you what's, your, what's your thoughts on that, dude? How's, is that dude just yeah. going to get Go. on top of you, like he said, and sound like he was trying to do some kinky things, but talk to you about yeah, it. I, I, <laughs> I know when he said he wants to get on top of me like that, I'm like, damn, dog, you ain't Destiny, you ain't my wife. That's the only person I live on top of me. <laughs> like that. It, it's funny, you know. It, it's, you know, he's 265, he's a bodybuilder, so obviously he's got the weight advantage, but. You can tell from this guy's face, he's taken some strong hits. He's got a chin. At the end of the day, you know, that's the beautiful thing about grappling. It's not about weight, it's about technique. Yeah, I'd really yeah, be yeah, mad yeah. if I don't ask you this question. <laughs> <laughs> but or they'll be mad when I ask you this question either way I think you know a question is coming next who wins in a street fight me or you if it's not like somewhere super like a room like this I wouldn't like my odds as much but like a wide open space I'm 100% not gonna get as tired as you it would yeah. be very hard for you to just grab a hold of me I've been defending that for the last 12 years not letting people grab a hold of me but no one has tried as strong as you um, but even if you did just grab a hold of me, there's, you know, there's other issues you got to worry about. Don't let me fucking grab your neck at all. Don't let me take your back. I, I could probably, I, I honestly, 
I got a couple little takedowns that I'd probably be able to get get to your back and choke you. That's how I would have to have to guess. What the do you think? streets are different though. You you get it, get his back, he can slam you on the concrete. That's true. It's that so is true. Different. You jump backwards and slam me. I'm not in a good position unless I. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. I wouldn't want to test it. I wouldn't want to fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to do it either. <sighs> yeah, so you see some guys, <clears throat> again, you know your own abilities, right? So you can guess, you know, you can guess. Okay, I probably could take him. Uh, maybe not, you know. Uh, I like you a lot. <laughs> it would like be scary. Lot. I would be scared. Yeah. I'd be like, but that would also probably make me Better. more dangerous being like, it's, if it's actually life or death, yeah, that's, pro, you know, I feel like I have. I'd like to think I have the skills to be able to kill you. Yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. See, Sean O'Malley's a good guy. He's being way too humble. Because more than likely, you're probably thinking this little mother. You'll probably swing something. You're like, I'm about to clean his clock. He'll just take it. I would I'll be never. on your back like this. You I ever, would kick you, you. You ever watch X Men? You yes, watch X -Men? yes, you yes. You know Nightcrawler. Yes. You ever yes. see him bamp? <laughs> That's how you think he's going to be? Just right on your back. No. Right dude. on your back. Strangling while you're just like, how did he get here? No. And then as you're waking up, you're like, sleeping. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> I'd kick you. I wouldn't even try to punch you. No chance. Dude, you're slow. He's incredibly fast. What? Yeah. The only person on the list that Bradley Martin might have a slim chance against is Devin Haney. And even. Here's a compilation of Bradley getting annihilated. Not Bradley. Let me tell you. Oh my! Oh, very nice technique. The the security guard. Here you go. Ah, that guy's a uh, wrestler for sure. Oh no, he got behind. Him. Oh, that was like a judo throw. Sorry, I don't want to get demonetized because of the uh, because of the music. Okay, we're gonna end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian L, Tom and Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, and Alan. Shout out to you, most recent purchaser of Strategist Guide to Seduction. Thank you. Go buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. If you want to watch my videos in bunches, it's not punches in bunches, guys, it's videos in bunches, just go to my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the Helios blog. If you'd like uh, coaching, uh, if you want me to help you out, just message me at my email. That's theheadiestblog at gmail.com. I'll help you out. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.